So we're going to try an experiment and allow cursor to uh, pretend as though it is this O1 function calling API call and improve it as though it is itself. This is just a sample code I got from OpenAI Docs with just a single function. The function isn't even defined. We just changed the GPT-40 model to O1. And here we're in composer in agent mode. We're going to say this code represent, represents you. Modify it in any way you like to make yourself more capable as you envision it. The code provided is just as an example. You can change and add new functions. What would you like to become? And we are giving this file as a reference. So let's see what happens. Okay, it wants to create a better structure with proper agent class, multiple useful tools and functions, proper error handling, async support, memory context management. Looks good. Okay, here we go. It wrote itself a new system prompt. Uh, it created an agent class. Let's accept this. It, ha it has created a search uh, information function, analyze code function, execute task function. And then it added uh, a lot of methods. Uh, let's see if it, it hasn't actually created any of the functions though. Let's go ahead and say, improve yourself further, uh, let's say more. It says I'll enhance my capabilities further by adding more sophisticated tools, memory management, and additional features. Let me improve the code. So this is just meant as a fun experiment. We are not actually going to try to get it working, but just going to see what uh, the creative solutions or iterations Claude can come up with. You can, uh, hopefully this will inspire you to try new ideas such as this. Okay, it actually added new functions such as learn skill, memory operation, store, retrieve, summarize, forget. It's adding itself a memory and it actually is using get embedding using OpenAI store memory. This is amazing. Uh, search uh, similar memories. Learn new skills, it's actually adding the uh, functions, store memory. Let's accept this. Uh, let's see what it all add. Advanced, it added itself an advanced memory system, skill learning and storage, enhanced tools, better context management, improved error handling, state management. Okay. This is looking pretty fantastic. There's uh, some warnings. We could fix those, but we're not going to focus on that. We are already at 465 lines of code. Let's go ahead and say improve yourself further and let's see what happens okay it added emotional intelligence emotion detection and analysis adaptive response styling emotional context tracking self-improvement continuous performance monitoring advanced performance metrics such as response time tracking success rate calculation enhanced memory system emotional context and memories important scoring better memory organization task management priority based task management and it had removed this uh, self-improve. It added a self-improve method, adapt response method, analyze emotion, evaluate learning progress, calculate success rate, start performance monitoring. I guess this can be a really inspirational method of actually coming up with ideas as well. Let's go ahead and let's accept this. Uh, let's see how many lines we have reached. We are at 650. Let's say uh, break this into modules and improve yourself further. Make sure to not break the code because we are getting closer to where it might start. So if you're not interested in getting working code, we are just interested in exploring. That's what we're doing. Let's get it to break it into modules and uh, add some more. Uh, uh, improvements. Okay, it is creating an AI agent folders, uh, quite a lot of folders, let's see. So this might also be a good idea to get a project started and then break it into modules uh, to try to surpass the 15,000 to 1500 uh, lines of code, which seems to be the limitation uh, for at least single file uh, projects due to the context uh, output uh, limitations. Okay, it defined itself as a modular self-improving AI agent with emotional intelligence and advanced capabilities. Created data classes. 
here. Uh, constants are in the constants. It's doing extensive, extensive uh, reorganization. This could also be a good way to learn how to better uh, organize the project. I should dive deeper into this. And there's this agent.py, which is our original file. It created emotion handler, handles emotion detection, processing, and response adaptation. It's interesting that it chose this system messages. Uh, Analyze the emotional content of this text, consider context, tone. This is an entirely uh, separate API call it's trying to make. Adapt response based on whether the emotion type is positive, negative, curious, concerned, excited. Now it is working on the memory manager. In the meantime, we can create a new file uh, called countlines.py and so that we can actually use the control K here and transcription. Could you please count all the lines of code in all the .py files in all the folders uh, within this directory? Okay, within this directory, let's fix that. Okay, this is actually working so far. We are, uh, cursor is still writing code, but we are up to 1142 lines of code, but that includes the agent.py too. We're not going to need it at the end. So it created memory manager here. It's using embeddings, vector similarity, memory manager class, store memories, search memories, update memory. Very interesting. Data models are here. Tool manager. Uh, Pi under tools, uh, and also it has created helpers method. It's also using logging. Uh, it's also has re retrieve it, it implemented retrieve it exponential back off, back off, calculate vector similarity for my time differences, summarize memory, summarize task, chunk task text. I mean, this would have been quite a task to uh, design and implement. Uh, okay, it's rewriting agent.py as the main agent class that ties everything together. Nice. So it's going to update that. Okay. Okay, let's see what all it did. Enhanced emotional intelligence, advanced memory management, sophisticated tool management, improved performance mon monitoring. Uh, and agent.py has been updated. Or, oh, no, it moved the agent.py here. Hmm. Okay, maybe we should say, do we, uh, do we still need the old agent.py file? Let's say agent.py file. Let's ask it. Okay, it's going to remove that. It's deleting that file. Now it's gone. Let's count the lines real quick. We are up to 1,300 lines of code. So now we are going to go ahead and ask, improve yourself further. Let's go ahead and ask it. Now it wants to create a knowledge based API. Interesting. At the end, we'll ask it to create a README about all this as well. So you can add uh, arbitrary more amounts of complexity uh, with breaking your project into modules like this. Uh, and you should easily be able to reach two, 3,000 lines of code. Of course, uh, running and making sure that they all work together is going to take some time. We are not doing that now, but uh, here is the knowledge base new now oh, it created a knowledge folder and it created this which is about 400 lines of code interesting find path update knowledge uh, query knowledge add knowledge is updating the constant stop high it's updating the main ai agent to integrate this Interestingly, it actually now knows the text embedding three small. It's actually using the latest embedding model names. That's also very really interesting. Okay, knowledge organization, graph-based storage for relationships, automatic knowledge extraction, knowledge type and relationships, like such as facts, rules, concepts, enhanced context understanding. Let's see, let's accept all this and check how many lines are we at. So we are approaching 2,000 lines. Let's go ahead and improve yourself uh, more. 
Now, actually, I know one error that is going to happen with O1 is that it doesn't accept mixed tokens and um, uh, temperature setting. Maybe right after this, we'll try to ask it to remove those parameters and try to run it at least to see if it does, if it, this is working. I'd be very surprised if it actually worked on the first try, which we won't dive into trying to get it working because that's just going to be a lot of debugging. Interesting, it's adding an inference engine. I'll enhance the agent further by adding more advanced capabilities. Uh, let me add a reasoning engine and inference system, it says. And it added this reasoning inference engine. It represents an inference made by a reasoning engine, such as premise, conclusions, confidence, inference engine, make inference, deductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning, abductive reasoning, and a logical reasoning. Extract concepts, update knowledge from inference, get inference stats. Okay, our next um, request will be to say O1 oh, doesn't accept max tokens and temperature params. Please fix this uh, by by removing them. Uh, in all parts of the code. Let's go ahead and do that. And in the meantime, let's count the lines. So we are up to 2,200 lines. It added about uh, four, 450 lines of code, right? So uh, yeah, 400, about 400. I mean, to think that we can build such a system right now. Now, uh, getting it working obviously will take some work, but just imagine just uh, just in a, a month or so, we're going to get uh, more capable models uh, from OpenAI O3, and Anthropic is going to release new models as well as as well as new Gemini models. I mean, we are in for a treat. I feel like with improved models, designing systems like this is just going to become a breeze. And if you look at the count lines, as you can see, each one of the files, like the max number of lines, is four hundred and sixty-two. So uh, this is quite well organized. Okay, it claims to have removed everything. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to run agent.py and see if it'll run. Yeah, okay, I thought import. So we are running into our uh, path issues with import. So let's go ahead and ask it to improve itself further. So these are all fixable. The reason why this is happening is the import paths are uh, not properly set up, you could perhaps ask it to uh, fix those. It's best to uh, obviously iteratively fix these as they as they occur. Now it's adding a meta learner. Uh, let's add a new module for meta learning and adaptive behavior, it says. I think uh, even now we have already broken through 20, to 20 uh, the comp certain complexity level. I often say that the the cursor can handle easily up to about 1,000 lines of code, but we've broken past it quite easily. It created a learning fo folder with the meta learner. All right, uh, learning strategy, performance pattern. So this is quite long. Initialize strategies. Analyze performance, evaluate strategy. Of course, one downside is that as uh, our line of code count increases, the um, applying and creating these files and modifying them is going to become slower and slower. Okay, it says it added meta learning system, strategy adaptation, pattern recognition, learning strategies, exploration, exploitation, um, hybrid and specialized, novelty scoring. Uh, adaptive behavior, dynamic strategy switching, parameter auto-tuning, pattern-based optimization. It's quite a lot. Okay, let's try to run agent.py again. We're going to run into the same error. And let's pass this error. Uh, and ask, please fix all path issues. Okay, it says uh, that uh, init.py needs to be uh, better or pro more properly organized. Right here. Oh, it's adding init.py to each uh, folder. 
And now it's creating a main.py for is a main entry point. Let's go ahead and run that. Okay, we're also getting uh, some other errors. We can pass this as well. I don't think we needed all this in it uh, methods, the uh, files, I mean. Okay, but uh, maybe we want to try to fix it. We'll just uh, do this one one last time as well and see see what happens but obviously we should have been fixing these errors as we were going along let's count the lines one last time see that we are up to 2644 lines of code uh it's also now uh, fixing the imports in the helpers.py file oh wow actually it worked uh it says ai agent initialized with advanced capabilities and it actually sent a message hello i'd like to learn about python async programming and uh, it's uh, working, and here we can see the log. I'm very surprised that it even worked. I mean, this is 2,644 lines of code that just cursor just imagined, and uh, seems to be working. Okay, we got an error in inductive reasoning. So it is doing uh, quite a lot of stuff, but we don't have a very good um, I should say, a uh, place to really see what's going on. So it is making quite a lot of calls. It's making five calls so far to a one, six now. And we only got one error in inductive reasoning. But it seems the log isn't updating properly. Okay, it tried to use deductive reasoning and it got an error. Okay, actually it just updated the agent.log file. Okay, it also got an error in adapting the strategy. So these are just simple problems. I think it just wasn't using the right async OpenAI library. I wonder if we're going to get something in the end. Okay, it actually finished. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we got an error at the end. Um, yeah, so we had some er more errors and also this uh, this. Um, one of the packages weren't defined anyway, but it worked. I mean, it worked, let's say 70% of the way. I'm, I'm sure we could have fixed all these. We can't, this is pretty complex, so we won't know actually if everything's working as uh, imagined, but I hope you found this uh, helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. And you know, like I'd like coding, the fact that I can code and make things happen, but how do I do it? I mean, fast with AI. I'd heard about it. It's easy. So um, I came across 1000x cursor course. And that's great. You know, it just made everything super silky smooth. It just it just worked. I'm, I'm telling you. 1000x, uh, you're coding.